stop deploying manually your projects. To gain time and avoid code errors in production, enable continuous integration and continuous deployment on your projects. In this video, we'll discover step-by-step -step how to enable CI-CD on a Next.js project using GitHub and LSTO. Let's start by creating a Next app with a yarn create Next app. We can name it Next CI-CD. Use TypeScript no, ESLint no, Tailwind yes, source directory no, app router no. I want to customize nope. It's installing the dependencies. Now it's done, let's open the folder. Now run yarn dev. And our project is running at this address. If we open it, we have the default page when we create a next project. Let's check that the build is working with the yarn build. It will avoid us to do new commits if the build wasn't working before. And it's fine, Dawn is 6 seconds. To enable the CI-CD, we need a new repository. I hit plus new repository. Owner, I will add it on LSTO. And let's call it CI-CD next demo. I will keep it private. I can create the repository. Now I will copy from the branch. I will do the other manually. In the folder, I run git init, git add dot to add everything, git commit, set up CI/CD next project, and we run the other commands to branch it to our git repository. Now, if we reload the page of our repository, we can see that we have our project created here. Now go on LSTO, hit login, go to CI/CD. You have the choice between GitHub or GitLab or using Docker Compose for templates that we have. I chose GitHub. I need to switch the scope to one of the organization I own, so LSTO. The first project is the most recent one, it's CICD Next Demo. I can hit import. Now it's asking me where I want to deploy it, either on a new VM or an existing one, because you can have multiple projects into the same VM. I will deploy it as a single node and I can select my service cloud provider. I will choose Kaleway. You can select your cloud region and your service plan. You can rename the CI-CD target instance and the size you require. Then hit next. Now we have set up our VM, we need to configure our project. This is this project on this branch. We only have the main branch now. We have the choice between a static website or a full stack app. Next can work in both way, either static site generation, so you would choose static website, but for the classical mode with server side rendering, you would choose full stack. The runtime is not JS. Based on your project, you can choose a default framework, even next is here, but I will write it manually so you see how it works. Our install command is just yarn. The run command, it's not yarn dev, it's yarn start because we want to be in production mode. And the build command is yarn build. And the output directory is correct. You can also add other settings such as environment variables if you have some. Once you're ready, hit create CI CD pipeline. You can see that your service is being deployed. The first time it's a bit longer because it needs to set up the VM, but then it only takes the build time of your project. When it's deploying, you can go to the history tab and click on view logs. It's showing you in real time the build process with the command applied and what is going on. Now I can see that my pipeline has been deployed, I can close it. If I go to my email, I can see that I received two emails. The first one telling me that my VM is ready and the second one to tell me that my CI-CD pipeline is ready. We can see that we have success here. We can go to details and click on the C name. Now we have our next project running online. Let's try the CI-CD. Let's create a new page. We'll add a folder named Ducks. Inside, we will create one folder name duck, so one page per duck, and we'll create a file index.js. We'll be using get server side prop to give some prop to our component. And let's create a duck component that is a page with the image of the duck and its name and description. Let's export our duck and let's try it, run yarn dev. Let's try to access to one duck, so it's ducks slash one, and we have our duck with a picture of it. Let's try ducks2. Okay, now same process. Let's run yarn build to be sure that we didn't make mistakes that would prevent the build. Maybe it's linting error. It's working. We can do git add, git commit ducks, and git push. 
If you go back to your CI-CD pipelines, you can see that it is currently building because it detected the push into your Git repository. We can go to history and see that there is building, the commit related, and the commit message. You can also see the logs. Now the build is finished, you can see the difference in duration because we had some cache enabled. Because the build is on your VM, the more power you give, the more fast it gets. Let's see if our project has been updated. Go to here. Let's try to go to our Ducks page to see if it's updated. And we now have our deck pages. You can see how simple it was to enable CI-CD for a project using LSTO. When you create a CI-CD instance, you can deploy multiple pipelines. It can be other projects from your GitHub repositories, or you can use open source software from our Docker Compose template library. For example, you want to add a Postgre database, you can just click here, select and add it to your existing VM. Thank you for watching. We hope this video will help you optimize your project deployment workflow. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel to not miss our upcoming open source software overview and tutorials. In the meantime, you can continue your journey by watching this video here.